It is the new year. Happy 2024, y'all. We are doing the ultimate reset routine. So for the past, I would say six weeks, I've been working on like my vision board and my goals and just kind of trying to stay ahead of it. So I've already done a lot of that. But today, after, you know, winter break, if you will, I'll never stop calling it winter break, even though it's quite literally not winter break. I graduated college in 2020. We're resetting today. So I'm cleaning the house. I'm grocery shopping. I'm finding new recipes. I'm doing home projects. I'm doing some goal setting. I'm planning the week i'm doing all the things so if you guys need a little inspiration to get back into your routine or whatever it is this is the video for you and if y'all are new here make sure to subscribe i make a lot of lifestyle vlogs a lot of cooking a lot of gardening a lot of style fashion going to the ranch sharing my daily life all of the things so if y'all are new be sure to subscribe and enjoy the video before we get started with the day it's time to feed the dogs so thank you to fresh pet for sponsoring today's video I really love Fresh Pet. This is a brand new bag. You guys know that I spent so much of my time and my life taking care of my two dogs, Fitz and Coco, and I think we should really be paying more attention to what we're actually feeding them because they just get like, I don't know, I feel like so many dog foods have like really horrible like preservatives and just like bad ingredients and they're just bad overall for your dog. What's great about Fresh Pet is that it's real food. It's fresh like meat, vegetables, and fruit. You have to keep it in the fridge, okay? It's preservative free. It's so, so much better for the dogs. And not only is it better for them, but my dogs love it so much more. I have my fresh pet. I have my cute little dog bowl for fits. Oh, I can see him over in the corner. He like just perked up because he can smell it. I'll take you guys along for meal time. He is, oh my God, he's so excited. Let's chill. I mean like the actual food itself. You're gonna see how fresh it is. It's real ingredients. Again, way better for your dogs. There he is. He's coming up, he knows. Oh my God, he's like so excited. Fitzy, he just got a bath. Guys, let me show you, he's so fluffy. Hi, he's so excited. Okay, I'll show you guys. Okay, it's meal time for Fitz. Are you ready? Oh, let's go. Good boy. And he will eat this, like literally all of it immediately with other food that I've given him in the past. He just like will graze all day and it takes forever and this is just better in general, but he loves this food. Coco's getting jealous. I'm feeding her next. Like, he's just so happy. Okay, I'm gonna feed Coco. Let's get some food, girly. Both of them are so happy. Y'all, I just needed to chime in here really quickly because, yes, Fresh Pet has made our mealtime so much easier because the dogs love it. But I just have to say, I have noticed such a difference in their energy levels and their coats. Both of their coats are a lot shinier. And energy-wise, they are both, like, they just have so much more energy. And I know it's Fresh Pet, so I really cannot recommend it enough. Fitz also has a very sensitive stomach, if you will. So giving him dog food, I have to be very specific, and I will say Fresh Pet is one of the very few that he's never had an issue with. And it's also really nice to keep them on a regular schedule as far as going to the bathroom because he will eat it in one sitting versus you know another dog food he doesn't really like as much and he's not as excited about he'll just kind of eat it throughout the day um so yeah i'm very loyal to fresh pet at this point i love the stuff the dogs love it so much and they just get so happy which i love to see literally the food's already gone guys i went back to film him bits and he already ate all the food he loves fresh pet oh my god that is so funny <laughs> Welcome back to another vlog. It is New Year's Day. Last night, obviously, was New Year's Eve. This is crazy. You guys are learning so much in this vlog. Last night was New Year's Eve and we went to a party at Park House, which in Dallas, it's like very similar to Soho House. It was fun. I left at like 12.30. I just was so tired. We actually sat around and played the nightcap card game too for like an hour or two before we went out and that was really fun. This past week has been so good. So today we're gonna reset for the new year. I have left my house since Christmas a total of two times, okay? Like I have been at home working on home projects and just like working honestly. There's two types of people in the world. First group being they love the week between Christmas what guys i can't talk they love the week be between 
Christmas and New Year's Eve and the other hating it. I love that week because I feel like time doesn't actually exist and it goes by so slow, which is so nice, you know? So anyways, today we are New Year resetting. I've already made my vision board and done all of that stuff, but I want to clean up the house. I'm filming my morning routine on TikTok every single day. Well, I'm doing it five days a week. You wake up at 5 a.m. in January. So and there's like a couple things I want to do. Like I need to do laundry, I need to clean up, I need to prep. I want to like set up my outfits because I really want to start doing that again. Look at how cute my new mug is. I got this one and then one in green from Bang Garden, which oh my gosh so much has happened since I last talked to you guys on here You need to be following me on Instagram and TikTok because I've been posting like on TikTok When I'm not vlogging my TikTok and Instagram is so much more interesting I have to do iced coffee right now, but it's literally 32 degrees out so it feels wrong Actually, we're doing one second. We're doing AG1 first. I've been doing that's not like an ad. It's not it's not an ad I promise. I do have a phone. I work with them on the podcast but I swear to God, it's on that. I got new garden beds, so I was setting those up all week with my dad. Um, I organized the garage big time. It's not done. We're still waiting for things. My grandma's going to um, basically sew like a curtain for me around the work deck. But I'm doing an entire video on starting my garden. 2024 is the year of hobbies, guys. The year that I really... Martha Stewart my life. Yeah, I want to get in the sauna this morning. I feel like it'd be nice to just sweat some stuff out. I'm also doing dry January. That won't be like that crazy of a thing. I weirdly like barely drink this December. Yes, I like the taste of AG1. Like I don't have an issue with it. Fitz is still in his Christmas sweater. He doesn't want to let it go. I know that no one believes this. He loves his sweaters. Like when I take it off, he brings them back to me. He is obsessed with them. I'm warning y'all of a jump scare. Trigger warning. Decor is down. I mean, like how depressing. I normally wait until January 3rd, but I have a big week and then I leave for LA. I'm so heartbroken about it. Like my living room just feels so bare. I'm gonna take the tree down today. <laughs> I really don't wanna do that. So we've last chatted. I got another antique quilt. This one's even better and I'm obsessed with it. I'm gonna read, but I'm also gonna go through some cookbooks for the week. I just wanna see like what we're making this week. I also organized the hosting closet if y'all didn't see on TikTok. The hosting closet's kind of popping off on TikTok, guys. So I'm gonna do an entire organization video as well this month, so I'm not really gonna go into what I did. Uh, well, I wanna get um, little tiny shelves to display cookbooks and dishes. So like ideally from each collection, I could have a dish out so I could like look at it and then be like, oh, I want this one, you know, whatever. And then I want a whole um, like gallery wall, but really with antique frames, not with the other one. From photos of every single dinner party. I think that'd be so cute. So I've been thinking there's a recipe actually that I found in here that I want to try. I want to like test it for future dinner parties. So I typically will just make it for myself for dinner once before. Um, so that's in here. This is honestly my favorite cookbook. I really feel so inflamed. So I'm trying to eat better. This is my favorite beef stew. It's a bone broth beef stew with purple sweet potatoes. It is so good. Like this is what we're making today. We need to make a beef stew. And I really only need to make two recipes this week because I'm also hosting a dinner party. But like I take cookbooks like hair salons and stuff and I will like dog ear the recipes I want to try. So anyways, this is so depressing. Like I can't even talk about it. Turning on the sauna. This is gonna be like a very chill day still. A lot of resting. I would love to watch Gilmore Girls at, at some point. I started watching it when I was in my braid codes appointment and we started to project back up at season three. I'm doing this braid code thing. It's like neurofeedback. We'll talk about that um, in an upcoming vlog. But they have you like put something comforting on and then they're like, training your brain. So I literally just sit there and I watch Gilmore Girls. But then I just got hooked back into it and now I'm on season five, episode like 20. Like I've had it on so much this week and I'm just not like, I never watch shows besides shows I've already seen. So obviously I've already seen Gilmore Girls, but it's just been like the best show to watch right now. I'm also obsessed with this mug. It's my first time using it. It's so cute. I tell my dad that when he comes and helps me build my other mega garden beds that I will be getting, we can drink coffee out of these. Let me give you guys some good like New Year book recs actually. If y'all are feeling motivated or maybe looking for some motivation, 10X is easier than 2X by Dan Sullivan and Dr. Benjamin Hardy. So 
If you guys are around when I was so obsessed with that gap in the game book, it's actually the same author duo. Dan Sullivan went on Ed My Let's Podcast, and I am not kidding. I listened to that episode three, maybe four times. It was so good, and I read the book, and I'm doing an entire solo podcast episode about it. So later today, I'm going to have to like go through all my like notes and stuff on my Kindle to like get ready for that episode because I'm recording it this week. A great business book, The Microscript Rules, incredible. I want to read Unreasonable Hospitality. I listened to the author on the Martha Stewart podcast, which I've also been obsessed with. And I've heard it recommended a couple times, so I definitely want to read that. There's another book I'm thinking of that's like so obvious. Matt Higgins' new book is really good too. I love that one, so. But 10X is easier than 2X. Like it's, it's basically about how like, 10xing your life is easier than 2xing your life and the reasoning behind that like what to do and it's so good now i'm reading glossy i'm listening to coco mocha's podcast and she did a solo podcast episode on the book and just like her thoughts and whatever so it made me want to read it so i started yesterday i'm 20 percent in and that's what i'm going to read this Here's what we're doing now. I'm gonna go through and make sure that those are the recipes. I feel like I'm definitely gonna do the beef stew just because I wanna make it today. And I need to get my beef stew out of my freezer because I have it from Butcher's Box. Butcher Box is, this is again, it's not sponsored. These are all like companies that typically do brand deals, but I don't work with either of them. Well, I work with AG1 on the podcast now, but I love Butcher Box. Like if you were trying to get into cooking and be a little bit more adventurous, like, I just think there's nothing better than a butchery box. My, my dad was here the other day and I was like, you have to get this. Like anytime someone's at my house, like I am fully paying, I'm a customer. I'm not like, I don't even get like gifting from them. Like, oh, well one time they did send me a package, but like not food, whatever. Y'all get the point. Okay, hold on. We like drunkenly curled the front piece of my blowout last night. Well, we weren't really drunk. I was one margarita and that's dramatic, but just looks so weird. Anyways. I feel like this vlog is gonna be so long. It really is just gonna be like a prep with me. Let's hang out. I haven't vlogged in a week and I, we're catching up. I think it's great because the meat is actually grass finished. And a lot of the time at the grocery store, you'll see like grass fed, which is supposed to be better. But when you say grass fed, you can do that all up until the end of their lives. And then they typically like stop that at the end to like plump them up before they, you know, wow, this is really gonna be depressing. Anyways, um, a grass finished means that they are grass fed all the way up until you know god oh my god now i'm gonna be vegetarian anyways um but also it's just nice because it's good pricing it shows up at your house so you keep it in the freezer or whatever this sounds like an ad read it's not um with that being said i have stew meat from them so i definitely want to make it i will um put this here typically this is when i write out my recipes there's nothing that i love more and this is not because it's my product we're actually out of stock right now um we completely sold out of the recipe journal and the dinner cards from like two TikToks. Like it's gone until we have a restock coming probably the end of February. Follow the Instagram if you guys want it. I keep getting DMs from people and you really just need to be following the Instagram because that's where all the updates are going to be. Also, by the way, if y'all are in Dallas, I think today it's live. I'm hosting a Dallas dinner party where you just buy a ticket and you can come. It's going to be at Paradiso on the 18th. Um, and I'm hoping to do them in a lot of other cities. So if you guys want me to come to other cities, let me know. Also, this fall, I really want to do a podcast tour. And I'm like in my head about the fact that I'm like, oh my God, I don't think anyone will come. Which like, why would I, they've always come in the past. Like, I don't know why I feel that way. I think it's because I've taken a break. Um, but let me know what cities y'all would want. Like I'm thinking Dallas, Austin, Houston, Chicago, New York, Boston, Nashville, I'm also thinking St. Louis, like that's where I was actually born. I moved to Texas when I was two. And it's like where most of our family lives. And every time I go there, I get so many DMs from y'all. And I feel like no one goes to St. Louis. So I don't know. Like, I don't even know if that's a possibility, but I don't know. You guys let me know. So anyways, bone broth beef stew. This is normally what I would write in my recipe journal too, which I'll do later. I just didn't bring it down with me. And then, um, sorry, I'm going to try out this recipe before I write it in my journal. Cause I don't know if I'm going to like it. It's this braised garlicky eggplant with chickpeas and tomatoes okay it looks good and it's a make ahead vegetarian meal that looks incredible so 
I'm also gonna plant some eggplant in my garden. So that'll be excited when I, exciting when I can actually like do that, you know? It actually looks like really good, so. Anyways, that's what I'm cooking this week. This isn't like new to this year because I have been cooking so much, but I definitely want to branch out and try a bunch of different meals and things. So I'm gonna make my grocery list right now, which I do on my phone. I really just like hate being on my phone. Like I despise it, something about it. Like, oh my God, when I'm, oh, I just hate it. So I hate even doing like my grocery list on here. Like that's like largely why I even did the recipe journal because I feel like I feel like the kitchen is such a like sacred place and to just like add more technology when you're like reading recipes online and stuff, like I hate. But with that being said, I'm making my grocery list. I could just write this down. I actually should literally, I should start. Like I'm, I really should. I also made a TikTok about this book. If you guys are wanting to do like dinner parties in the new year and you're new to them, even I'm not even new to them and I still love it. Um, this book is amazing. It's the dinner party project because you go in here and let me get to the page. Okay, well, they even have like a cheese board chart. So that's like so helpful. So helpful. Oh, here we go. There's a what should I make for dinner flow chart. And then it'll give you like all these things like how much time do you have? Like how experienced are you in the kitchen? Blah, 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 whatever. And then they'll have like menus for you and they just have menus all throughout. So like burger night, steakhouse night, pizza night, taco night. And it's the drinks, the appetizers, the mains and desserts. Like how amazing is that? So I'll link this below. I just randomly picked it up at Anthropology like last year when I saw it. And I'm just now going through it this past week. Um, and I really like it. Like this looks so good. Like so, so good. So anyways, I have so many cookbooks and I'm really trying to like get through them this year. Something about a cookbook is so just calming to me. Like, I don't know, love. I'll also link this one too, cause it really is my favorite and it's my go-to and I just love it. The grocery list is done. I also just made a TikTok story and I wonder by the time y'all see this, like my Christmas tree, obviously like my stuff isn't up anymore, but listen, this tree was my best personality trait yet. Like if you know me, if you, I feel like you guys know me, like I love to make every single hyperfixation a personality trait. And my tree has by far been my best one yet. Like I think we could all agree on that. Buy your Christmas decor now. Like I know it's so boring. And like two or three years ago, I would have been like, oh, that's a good idea. And like not done it. But now if I like know I want certain things like dishware last year I bought from Anthropology after Christmas, um, oh shoot, I left my oyster ornament. I just set it aside in the tree topper. But anyways, everything is on sale. So like my tree itself is 50% off. My ornaments, a lot of them are out of stock, but they have a lot that are on sale. The ribbon, the classic ribbon that was so expensive, that's impossible to find. You guys saw my journey um, on sale. So I will have that linked. And then if you just go on my like LTK profile, it's pinned to my profile all of my Christmas decor, like not even just the tree, like everything else, and it's all on sale. So get it now because then you're gonna save probably like 60% at least on all of your Christmas stuff for next year and you can just put it away immediately, you know? So anyways, little coconut update. My dog, this is coconut. Hello, she has IVDD, so her two back legs don't work. She loves to just scoot around. She actually gets around very quickly. She has wheels, like that's not like what she normally does. Also, we like never even, I never even addressed the fact that I got her a stroller on here. I realized that like when we I was watching back the vlog. Um, yeah, I got her a stroller. And no, I'm not like proud of having a dog stroller. Like that's not something that's cool, but my dog can't walk. So if she wants to go on walks, she's gotta be in a stroller. And sometimes you sacrifice for your animals. You know what I mean? So anyone who's gonna make fun of me, just keep in mind you're making fun of a handicapped dog and I hope he can sleep well at night. Anyways, um, slow progress, like I, I'm fine with her this way. We've adjusted to this life. We're happy, she's happy, like she's having a good time. She smiles all the time. She's a lap dog anyways. Maybe there's a miracle, she's still in physical therapy and stuff. And she is making slow progress, but at a certain point I'm just like, is it still worth it? I don't know. Um, so anyways, hi girly. I never pictured this for us, I really did it. Um, but we've really adjusted quite nicely. She's a great dog sitter. She's a great setup all around. So I really do have like best case scenario for everything. Um, but yeah, I mean, I was heartbroken and depressed when this first happened, but we've adjusted and we've we figured it out. So anyways, that is the update. Still not walking and it's been months since surgery. Like typically they walk within like a couple weeks of surgery. And there are cases where it takes like a year or two. Um, 
but I don't know. I really don't know. She has a lot of energy right now. She's like trying to jump, but hi, cutie. Hi. She lives a great life. She really does. So anyways, I think I'm in a sauna now. I like need to, I need to do that. I'm about to sauna and something that I definitely want to do more of in 2024 slash I've already started is meditate. I feel like that's like really, I mean, not that I do every single wellness thing, but I feel like that's like one of the biggest, most common ones that I just don't do. Like I will do pretty much everything else, but I just like have really not, I've not been a meditator. Okay. Like I've done it here and there, but I haven't like made it a part of my routine. My friend Liz went to... One of my friends was telling me all about Dr. Joe Dispenza. I went to a retreat of his and now I'm hooked and like I need to go to a retreat. But I started meditating when I'm in the sauna. Habit stacking, if you will. Also, life hack, if you have problems meditating like me, she told me this, but get an eye mask, okay? I'll link below this one. It's pretty inexpensive off Amazon, but it really helps. And it just like, I don't know. I'm excited to see this year once I like actually... And meditating and like doing it regularly and doing my like morning routine and like really back at it but yeah that's what i've been doing so i put on a dr joe dispenza meditation and i sit in the sauna and it's really just like a fabulous time i really like it um i also have that big ass calendar from jesse itzler's i hate to say his name i don't know but that went viral on tiktok i have fallen to tiktok shop I put it here so I can have a visual every morning and then I think I'm gonna like bring my vision board out here because this is like where I meditate so I feel like it would just make more sense. I also, over in that corner, I'm starting a seeding area which is when you like start to grow things from your garden from seed, obviously. Like, I don't know why I felt the need to explain that but sorry guys. Um, I'm doing a whole area over there and then I've been printing off because I've been learning a lot from the Dallas Garden School and I'm getting a lot of their like printable stuff. <laughs> Guys, I'm literally 80. Like I'm actually 80 years old. So I'm gonna hang it all up here. I'm a very visual girl. So if I can have everything, like again, I am 80. I'm printing off things from the internet and putting them on a board above my gardening station in my garage. Like that's crazy guys, you know? But anyways, um, so this I'm gonna put over here and have all of my stuff hung up. Like, as you can see here, I already printed, or I already printed off. This is, I believe, the cutting planting schedule. Yeah, cut flower planting schedule. How nice, right? Really into that. That account has really helped me a lot. And then I like the dot as a greenish. I don't know, we'll talk about that in my gardening video. It's gonna be exciting. If you're not a gardener, like, stay tuned, okay? I feel like you guys will like these, so don't even, don't even worry. But anyways, I'm gonna go in the sauna for however long, I think literally just turn off. For however long I want, I don't really know how long that's gonna be. And we're gonna meditate. Look at me go, guys. I'm a meditator, okay? Wow. All right, guys, we finished. I'm not gonna lie, that wasn't like the best meditation I've ever had in my life. I've definitely had better ones, but I just, I don't know, like it was hard for me to focus, but I'm still glad that I did it. I still feel better and I feel like progress is progress. You know what I mean? I'm a little bit scared from when I start doing them at like 5 a.m. or 6 a.m. and I have those on. Like, am I just gonna fall asleep? I don't know. Oh my God, I forgot I had Waterboy in here from last night. And I thought I was just going to be drinking water. Wow, that was just shock to the system. I know I said I organized the garage, but like I'm in the middle of putting Christmas decor away. So ignore that. But this stuff is being organized. It's so much better than it was. I'm going to have really cute fabric all along here. So it is going to hide that stuff and look less cluttered. That's going to be like my seating area. And then look, I hung this stuff up. I definitely want to keep these two prints. I'm kind of over that one. I've had that literally since my LA house so long ago. Um, and I'm kind of over this frame look. Like, I'm really leaning more into, like, antiques, older, more traditional, cozy kind of vibe. Um, but frames are so expensive, so I'm never getting rid of the frame. So, I might get a new print. I kind of want to paint some stuff with Macy, just, like, stuff that's cute little sayings or whatever. I definitely want to keep that. That's Dolly, and that's, like, you know, on a ranch. So, definitely keeping that. Also, that I have these robes. 
I got them for the sauna, so I have them hanging up over there after I wash them. I just recorded the intro for the first episode of the year, which I think y'all will really like, especially if you are like me and you like routines and whatnot. I had two of my friends I actually founded a can espresso martini brand, which I cannot believe didn't already exist. It's actually kind of crazy. Uh, maybe it did, but they've like done it the best. So anyways, these girls are so busy. They're at every single event. I mean, they're literally everywhere, always doing something. And they still have their 5 a.m. morning routine. And it's actually earlier than 5 a.m. because their workout starts at 5 a.m. So I needed to have them on to ask them all the questions about building routines, habits. Yes, I've been an early morning girl before, but never like they, this has lasted them like years at this point it's been like a bit that they've been doing this and i'm getting back into it i feel like i normally will do like 6 a.m but i like the idea of kind of like shocking my system because i'm a very all-in sort of person so i know that like building habits and doing things like that it's not that's not really the best way to go about it typically but because i already wake up at 6 a.m waking up at 5 a.m is like not that much different and even though it is, that one hour really makes a difference. Um, and I'm just gonna like do it. I wouldn't recommend if you're building habits and doing things to go from being someone who wakes up at like 8 a.m. to waking up at 5 a.m. Like that's kind of crazy. And it's still gonna be really hard for me. Like I even think it's best to do it at like 15 minutes, like intervals and whatever, but that's not how I'm doing it. I'm gonna do a challenge on TikTok that's gonna force me into it because if I don't do it, then I'll be publicly humiliated. And that is um, the motivation that I've decided that I need. So. Anyways, I'm uploading and sending all the files over here, and I just had a couple of emails to respond to. Um, friend of mine is doing so well, guys. Like, I'm so grateful. If y'all don't know, I own a friend of mine. I started it in September, only a couple months ago. It's a homemaking and hosting brand. We dropped the recipe journal first, dinner cards, and then we just dropped nightcap cards that launched this week. So they're available um, if you guys are interested. But I'm so happy because we sold out of like pretty much all the inventory that we had out until like March. So very grateful, but I've been like working like a mad woman trying to get stuff as soon as possible and like all the other things that we have and whatnot. So I'm very excited. I need to go through um, some shorts to review for the YouTube channel and then make some breakfast and then we're going to head off to Sprouts, my favorite place. Guys, I got the best Christmas gift this year. It's literally just my Art Place pan, but the mini version. And it is amazing for breakfast. Like, especially if you live by yourself or you're just making yourself breakfast. I love my Art Place Always pan. I have used an Always pan every single day, sometimes multiple times a day for three years now. Like, I'm so obsessed. Like, didn't they give me... I literally could have sworn I got crown turkey yesterday. I basically only asked for um, garden beds and then just stuff to more our place stuff. So I really just want my entire kitchen at our place because that's really the only stuff I grabbed for anyways. I had the big pot and then I had the our place pan. I can just show you guys what I had. I was like, okay, like, so I have this pot that I use all the time and then this one that's just like a smaller normal size and then i have this normal size and then that's the mini and it is amazing it is my favorite kitchen stuff i also really like caraway i'm just like an art place girl i think it's so amazing and i use it all the time anyways this is a lot better for my breakfast size i normally make every morning i have like the same breakfast and i haven't gotten tired of it yet but you know i eventually will because we always hyperfixate for whatever reason on the breakfast and then we don't, um, oh my God. And then I can't eat it ever again, but look at how cute my plates are. I antiqued these a couple weeks ago. Or I thrifted them a couple weeks ago. I do typically a ground turkey scramble. And then I add in chow chow that I get at the farmer's market. And it's s &J Canning. They're actually McKinney based. They go to the White Rock farmer's market, but I, ordered it online this time because I'm just so obsessed with it. Like I crave it every morning and it just makes my meal taste so much better. This is the chow chow. It's amazing.
Okay, I just got to Sprouts, my favorite place in literally the entire world. But guys, like, my phone addiction is out of control. It's like, even when I, I will drive five minutes and then I park, I check my phone immediately. Like, why? I just hate it. Like, I really, really hate it. And it sucks because, like, obviously, I do love my phone and I need it for work. Obviously, a lot of my job is on my phone, but... I don't know I just like I want like better parameters or I want to stop grabbing for it and I don't want to like sit around my house ever again and be scrolling on my phone like I would much rather I have like I am so lucky to have like such a cool house like I have like things that I can do I can go garden I can clean up I can work on a project there's so many things that I can do anyone can do at home besides scroll on your phone I can read I, I would rather even be watching like Gilmore Girls than being on my phone like I just I don't know like, I really this year I want to make it a goal to be off my phone less because it is genuinely really bothering me and really concerning me my mom was talking about this recently how like she was listening to something and how like researchers don't even know like the epidemic of like phone addiction like what it's gonna be and how it's gonna affect us and whatever which I think we can all agree on and I think we all know but like I don't know it's really bothering me today but with that being said I'm listening to the skinny confidential it's the new episode how to get people to like you more create connection and develop I don't know what it is after that but I'm only like less than halfway through and I've already sent it to three people and posted on my Instagram story because it is so good it's talking about um like ambiverts introverts extroverts how to like have charisma how to talk to people how to whatever like I don't know it's actually so good like I highly highly recommend it here is my grocery haul. I haven't had cottage cheese in so long and I love cottage cheese, guys. I know it sounds gross, but you just have to trust me. It's also a really good source of protein. I put this on like rice cakes. Sometimes I'll add some jam, sometimes some honey. Really good snack, really good breakfast, amazing. Plain Greek yogurt for my recipe, onions. I got herbs, guys. Like I should not be buying herbs. I should be getting them from my garden. So that's gonna be changing this year. I was out of K-Cup, so I'm going to try these. I always like Colombian coffee. It's organic. I don't know. Whatever. It's what I saw. I think it was like five bucks. And I got broth. So bone broth is better for you, but it is more expensive. But I got the bone broth just for the beef stew. Um, bone broth? I'm not kidding. It's like it cares all for me. Bone broth is the equivalent. If you guys have seen my Big Fat Greek wedding and the dad is obsessed with Windex and he just uses Windex to fix all of his issues, that's how I feel about bone broth. I just love it. And I got some vegetable broth eggplants, cherry tomatoes, purple sweet potatoes, lemons, and carrots. So this is pretty much all for my two recipes this week. I'm gonna make the stew today in this vlog. Oh, and rice cakes, I don't know if I said that in Bonza. Um, mac and cheese, I love Bonza. So I'm crashing guys, I'm so tired now, it's crazy. Like. I think because I haven't really been drinking that much lately. I had three drinks total from the span of like five to midnight and I'm just exhausted, like so tired. So I'm gonna make a coffee and I'm gonna, I'm gonna get it together.
Another thing I really want to get better about this year is, what is it, mise en place? Mise en place, how do you pronounce that? When you actually have all of your ingredients ready before you start cooking, because it makes your life so much easier. So I have the stew meat right here, and I cut up or I chopped everything that needed to be chopped. The thing about this recipe is it's so easy. You literally brown the meat 10 minutes, and then you add literally everything else. It's that simple. It's just like you measure your chop, like that's how quick it is. So, um, yeah, this will make my life so much easier. But there's something so therapeutic about having a background show on or watching like a masterclass, Martha Stewart, might I suggest. I'm obsessed. I keep watching it over and over again. Something about it is so peaceful. But, and just chopping and cooking, like I just really love it. So, anyways, this recipe is one of my favorites. It's so simple. I will have it on the screen as we are, okay, Carly, I want, I'm going to send you, actually screenshot this right here, and as I'm chopping and doing it, like put the recipe throughout on um, the screen. I don't know if that's focusing. There we go. So just like add that on the screen as we go through it. Okay, back to it. Anyways, it's so simple. It's so easy. It's healthy. It tastes amazing. And it's just the best and it makes your house smell so good. I also love having kombucha while I cook. It's weird because I don't drink wine by myself while I cook anyways, but like I act like I made myself a cocktail or something and it's literally always kombucha. If you've ever seen wine glass when I'm cooking, it's always kombucha. I like Better Booch, I like Health Aid, or Olipop Root Beer, my favorite drink ever. Also guys, I am in love with these mugs. They're the perfect size, they're fun, they're cute. Like I just love this mug. Also, y'all, Rory just dropped out of Yale. The drama is crazy. Okay, I'm waiting for my stew to boil, but I'm going through, I've already done this. I'm like always on my Google calendar. If it's like I live by my Google calendar, um, but every week, on Sunday, I'll go through and I make my like weekly to-do. So in my notes app, I put like the weekly to-do and then I do Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, whatever. And I put like my schedule in there to check off, but also like to-dos that I need to do. So it's partly a to-do list, partly schedule-wise. I don't know why I just really like doing it. So it'll be good. Also, like I'm sure you can tell my face, like I'm so tired. I know I keep saying that, but like, I need to go to bed at 8 p.m. Like maybe 7, honestly. I'm exhausted. Um, okay. So like tomorrow, Maggie Sellers is in town. So I'm going on a walk with Maggie. I have to meet with my neighbor at 11. I have a meeting at noon, finance meeting. I have another meeting at 1, editing meeting, organized bathroom, bridal shower planning. Okay, so like... I just go through and it really helps me. I'm just a very visual person, so I like need to be able to see it. It's a little extra, I will say. Like I could just obviously keep everything there or whatever. But that's just how I do it and that's how I schedule it and it all works out. This week I have recordings, I've got planning stuff, I have a lot of meetings, I have a dinner party that I'm hosting, I have a whole other video that I'm filming. So I just like get all this out before so then I stay scheduled. And also, since I'm doing the 5 a.m. morning thing, I want to try out like different routines with the 5 a.m. morning. So I want to like do it in different orders and whatever, just to see what I like over the span of the next like month. That I mean, I'm gonna keep doing it. Hopefully, as a lifestyle change. But I just want to see. Also, this top is so awful. It's just like a really cheap turtleneck. It's just the worst. Anyways, I don't feel like changing. Also, I'm like really depressed about taking the tree down. So like, I might keep it up. I haven't decided. I've taken out all the other Christmas decor, but like maybe I get the tree up for a couple more days. Like, give me a break. Um, so just getting all that stuff done. But I do this, and this is something I'm trying to do in the new year. I'm trying to implement like little small habits that make a big difference. Number one being back on Nutrafol. Like, hair health is a huge thing, and I am back on Nutrafol. Okay? That's happening. I need you guys to DM me every day and remind me to take my Nutrafol. 
And then also I want to have my outfits picked out the night before so it takes no time in the morning like my workout outfit's done, my outfit for the day is done, like I have it all set up and ready to go. So I'm going to go pick out some outfits once that starts to simmer for my week so that those are all laid out and ready to go and it's just like one less thing to worry about, one less thing to think about. Um, I'm trying to like minimize having to think about stuff that doesn't really matter throughout the week You know what I mean? Like I want to just all be prepped and done Um, because I really like it when I travel and I have my outfits done and that's it I can't think of anything else. I like that sometimes it's just like too much thinking You know what I mean? It just like adds time in the morning and I don't want to deal with it. So that's the plan um, I'm just getting all of this done. Let's go to my to-do list for today. I've pretty much done everything I'm doing laundry right now, planning outfits. I don't know. I wanted to go on a walk today, but like I just don't know if I have it in me. I want to still, I want to be resetting and prepping, but I also want to be resting so that I'm able to like actually do well. You know what I mean? I need to episode prep, so we're going to see. All right, so the stew is on simmer. I just put eye patches on because I figured it would actually wake me up. And honestly, it's helping. My skin also has been breaking out so bad the past week, like worse than ever. So I still need to do more organizing in this closet room. Don't get me wrong. It's not fully organized and I could, I could use a refresh. I did go through a bunch of stuff. Ugh, I just like I need to do the week outfits, you know, so I'm going to figure that one out. A lot of these, though, are just. They were like holiday fits that I never got around to wearing. I got all these like really cute clothes, guys. And I'm still gonna wear them. But the week that I had all the events to go to, I got really sick. So I couldn't wear any of my like cute, nicer outfits for the holidays, which sucks because like if I don't wear them then, like I, I don't really dress up much, which I would like to start doing. I need to start wearing cute outfits, which is why I'm forcing myself again to do this. Like, oh my God. This coat, by the way, from Cezanne, I mean, I always wear outerwear, is everything. And maybe I'll wear this tomorrow morning on my walk. Maybe I will. But I also could wear, no, what I'll do is I'll wear a vest. Okay, so anyways, I'm just gonna pick up my outfits. <sighs> a couple outfits for this week just to make it easier. Look at how cute this hat is. It's from Opera Hours. They're my podcast guest this week. And I think it's so cute. So I can definitely wear a hat, do something. I don't know. We're going to figure it out. And we're going to get it together. Okay guys, I actually had quite a lot of success and that took me 10 minutes. I'll show you guys some of my outfits that I have planned. So it goes from like most casual to nicer. Some of the pieces over here are just pieces that I want to pull from that I haven't worn yet or that I just want to wear more or whatever. So this is my walk morning for the morning, my work walk outfit for the morning. By the way, I got this cute bag from Lucky Loves and I've been waiting forever to get it. I didn't really want the white one, but that's all they had in stock. Anyways, love it, but... I haven't worn it still, so like I need to actually incorporate that into these fits. Didn't even think about that. Anyways, I need to do more casual outfits, but I'm not really in a rush to do those. Another walk outfit. This is a fit that I have planned out with a belt, so that's good. This is if I don't like the white with it. Then I have this skirt I haven't worn yet with this oversized 
sweater that would just be cute with a pair of nude heels. This is a new top that I've been wanting to wear, jeans, heels. This is another like super western fit. I just have this vision of wearing like jeans. Either I'll put a white sweater on or I'll wear this top with my favorite belt from Revolve. This one's only $40 too. I'll link it. Um, I love belt buckles. That's definitely been like a 2023 thing for me that I will be carrying into the new year. Um, and then this jacket is the coat I got last year for Europe and I'm obsessed with it. It's so massive. It's obnoxious, but I love it. Like I want to wear this with my Tacova Josie boots and go to Fort Worth. Like that is my vision and I'm excited for it. Then I just have some nicer outfits that I'll be wearing to different things. I think I might wear this to my dinner party for a friend of mine. Um, and then just some like random things that I need to pull, but I definitely can add more, but I feel like I'm good for right now. I could do a little bit more lounge, but I, I honestly, like, I know I'm not going to not wear lounge, so I just need to pick cute lounge that makes me feel put together and also put it in here. I feel like a lot of goal setting is, like, being realistic. Not really, like, okay, <laughs> that's not what I'm trying to say. Goal setting is different, like, more so developing new, like, habits and routines and stuff, like... I know myself and the core of who I am is like, I like to be comfortable. So I want to still do this, make myself feel a little more put together. So make the outfit a little bit cuter, like accessorize, whatever, um, and hang it up here. So I have it instead of just putting on like sweatpants and like a sweatshirt and whatever. So anyways, um, love this. And this is something I can definitely keep up with because it's only 10 minutes. Also, by the way, the new house guest merch that's coming out is so cute like I saw the designs and I was going through it yesterday and I was showing friends and everyone is just like it is so cute I'm so excited for you guys to see it also I have my little closet buddy she loves it this is her spot and whenever I'm getting ready in here she just is obsessed and she sits there I do my makeup on the floor here and she just sits there with me the whole time it's very sweet so anyways I'm feeling good I'm glad I have this all situated like, thank God, honestly. Also, these boots, they're gaudy, and I need to wear them more. I honestly, they were just hidden in another closet, and they're going to be so cute. Like, I can wear them gardening, and just, I want to style these. So, I brought these out as well. I need to go through and organize this, but um, I really love this. I also have my Stetson up there. Yeah, it feels good. Time to clean the pool, check the chlorine levels, need more. Ignore my hair and ignore the fact that it is so dark in here. If you guys have good recs for garage lighting, let me know. But I'm gonna start putting some Christmas decor, I guess, upstairs, which is really so sad. Or I guess, yeah. Oh my gosh, guys. I just don't have it in me to take the tree down. Like, I just, I can't do that yet. That's, it's just too much. So, I'm gonna keep the tree up, I think, today. And like, we'll see about tomorrow. But I already have like the main stuff done and like ready to go anyway, so I feel like it's okay. Just like, it sucks. So, anyways, putting this stuff in the attic. Okay, whew.
I also just want to say that I did this in my townhouse and I finally just got it together. But I use this basket as like my work basket, my laptop basket. This cord, I don't know what it's for, so I just I have to test that out tomorrow. But I really like having, sorry for all the cords and the clutter and literally coconuts sweater. I, I can't. But I really like having just like a basket. I don't know about you guys, but I don't like clutter. I don't like seeing a bunch of stuff out on the counter and whatnot. And this works better because I like work from home. So I can work wherever and I def I move outside. I work there. I work there. I work in the dining room. I work really all around the house. Um, I like having this basket so everything just stays in one place and it feels less cluttered. Keep my laptop in there. I keep my iPad in there. Everything's just currently charging. So I don't know if you guys are getting really annoyed. I used to keep it just in a bag, but now this work basket's great. I'll try to link one below similar. I cannot remember where I got this from. This is, I feel like the most obvious thing in the world, but it's just like something that I'm doing now and it makes my life better, so. Okay, I needed some fresh air. So I'm outside now and I'm still planning. 2024, I wanna get good about is I want like one day, it's all podcasts because we're horrible at multitasking. So keeping it all in the same day and honestly like even i would love to get to two episodes a week so like i would love to do like the first week a month is when i'm recording and i'm in different cities every time and then that way it's easier to schedule guests and stuff but also like on my calendar I have like other things that i need to get done this week and so when i do it that way i'm like okay i'm doing house stuff i'll organize the bathroom then like just small things like that but it really does make a huge difference so Okay, I'm going through basically goals for this year, which I've already had set, but I read this book, How to 10 Extra Life, which I've already talked about, and I'm talking about it literally nonstop, but it just says, the book is actually, sorry, it's actually not How to 10 Extra Life, it's 10x is easier than 2x, I think, and it's the whole idea that it's easier to 10x your life than it is to just 2x your life, because you have to change 80% of your life in order to 10x it, but you only have to change 20% in order to 2x it, Therefore, you're less likely to do it. And I'm like really on this 10X thing. And I've been doing this as a career for the past 10 years. And it is time for me to like hire people. And at first I thought I really wanted like full-time hires. And now I'm, I don't know, I'm not against it. I want by the end of the year to have like a team that's working with me. Like I have a team management and like Jeremy media wise, but I want like a team that's working with me. I'm obviously gonna need people for a friend of mine. Like I, there's a lot of things, but I really need, I think, what I actually need because I have editors, I have people who are doing that, I have someone that I'm hiring for community stuff, but I also think I need more of like an administrative assistant that's like all over and it's not a full-time role necessarily, but I need someone who can help me like streamline scheduling, streamline like communication with booking for podcasts, which is like a main thing, even though I'm trying to do less guests, but I keep going back and forth on that. Like I can't decide like, I don't know, I'm, I'm going back and forth on that nonstop, on guests, not guests. Like in an ideal world, I'd have two podcast episodes a week and I would do, I don't know, that's like a whole other topic, but whatever. Um, I need someone who is really, really, really organized and has experience in it and can like streamline my life, especially on the friend of mine thing and communicating with like the factory and doing that stuff, like schedule wise, timing wise, calendar wise, when payments are due, like things like that. So. Anyways, that is something I'm definitely wanting to get handled basically as soon as possible. Like I need the, I mean, I'm not, I don't want to settle and I want the best fit and whatever. Um, but I really, I really need that. I think that would be like the biggest game changer for me because a lot of like what I spend my time on, I feel like I'm working too much like in my business and not on my business. Lauren Bosick always says that. Like I'm too in it and I'm not able to like scale because I'm, bogged down by like the dumb day-to-day -day stuff like scheduling not dumb but like the smaller things that like I really probably shouldn't be doing because I need to be able to like be more big picture and do the other things if that makes any sense um so yeah that's something that I'm trying to do I know a lot of you guys actually own your own businesses I'm curious what do you guys do comment below because I have been getting so many dms from girls who follow me who own their own businesses so I'm just like wondering like is this topic even like interesting to talk about um, because I can only imagine if you have, like, a more traditional job, um, 
it's really not interesting and it's boring. So let me know. Hopefully my food is gonna be on soon. I'm very, very hungry. Also, I will say these eye patches did wake me up. Okay, it might've also been the coffee, but like these eye patches really did something for me. I am figuring that out. And I also just like optimize my calendar for the week so that I'm like doing the right stuff on the right days and I'm in the right headspace and zone, you know? Um, but yeah, it's good. Also, for the actual like executive assistant, like someone in that realm, like I want them to be in Dallas because I just want them to be in Dallas. Like there's other things, but I, I think I really need someone here for that. So anyways, I'm gonna go check on our food. Coco is just out here sitting with me, loving her life. Hello. She's so cute. Coco, look at the camera. She's not interested. The tree is not going down today, guys. Like, I can't do that. I literally can't do that to myself. No way. I make this mistake every time I make this. It's still good. It just doesn't look... It looks disgusting, but it's very good. I put too much bone broth in. Every time, I'm like, no, I'll just add another cup. And then it just makes the potatoes, like, kind of soggy. But, like, that's not really the right word. It sounds gross. I promise you this tastes amazing. It just looks... Um, disgusting, but it tastes amazing. It smells amazing. It's so good. I'm gonna get in the bath and relax. I'm actually listening to Scott Patterson's Gilmore Girls recap episode. Podcast, I mean, I'm sorry, it's so loud. I actually love like a rewatch podcast because it's like an episode where I can like turn my brain off. Like it's just comforting, it's easy, whatever. I try to listen to more of like entertaining, relaxing, chill episodes at night. I literally want to be sleeping by 8 p.m. So we're working on that. Update, it's 7 p.m. Putting on my red light therapy face mask. It's a true like relaxation. Normally I read every single night before bed and I still will before I go to bed, but I read so much this weekend that I'm watching Gilmore Girls tonight. Isn't this amazing? Okay, I have a, I'm pretty positive I have a discount code for this one. This is the best looking mask like this I've ever seen. I also hate the clutter back there. I need to get to that. But it's nice because my other ones, they had to be like plugged in at all times so I couldn't move around. This one I can like move around my house. Like, there you go. I'm done. It's actually so convenient. So I'll link it in case anyone's interested. Red light is amazing for my skin. Like I noticed the biggest difference from red light. That's why I love infrared saunas. That's why I like, love it all. So. Anyways, here we go. I look scary, I know. Another thing in 2024 I'm gonna utilize more is a nice relaxing evening in the tub while watching a show. I'm trying to like, I know that sounds stupid because like it's a TV show or whatever, but like I haven't even seen Yellowstone. Like I don't watch shows unless I've seen them and I grew up watching them a million times. And even then it's like so rare. And I want to watch shows because they're relaxing and it's fine. Like I can do it. I know it's so stupid. Like I sound dumb, but I want to watch Yellowstone. Comment below what other shows. I know I would like Shit's Creek. Like what else? I need to catch up. I've got like a decade to catch up. On. Guys, I look crazy. There's nothing better than getting to bed so early. In my uh, Christmas gift from Dear Media, they gave me these. They're the high confectionery. It's kind of hard to see right now. I wonder why. The go to sleep hemp infused gummies. I've taken them twice. I need to charge my aura ring. That I need to do tomorrow. I don't even know where I put it now that I think about it. Thinking about it. But anyways, I'm interested to see what my sleep score is with my aura ring with this. So anyways, these hemp infused gummies. I just have two of them an hour before I go to bed and I've slept really well those two nights. I don't have a problem sleeping, but I feel like I woke up more rejuvenated is really it. And also I like it because you can kind of control the hour that you go to bed, which I think is so nice. So anyways, we're gonna have a little dessert. There's these chocolate covered bananas that I, I don't even know why I decided to try them at Sprouts one day. And it sounds like really annoying um, 
healthy con you know one of, one of those people but i'm telling you that these are actually so good like you have to trust me but obviously with this we can't have them so we're gonna gather our things i don't feel like making tea tonight either but i feel very well rested and ready for the year a lot of my goal setting and like journaling and stuff has been done i'm gonna journal in the morning i have some prompts and things but i just feel good for the year i feel prepared i feel ready good to go Gotta go get the dogs for medicine. Exciting life, thanks. Okay, I did my skincare. I have my favorite dessert. It's so good and I'm actually gonna take my two gummies now because it's 7 6 p.m. I was not kidding about going to bed at 8. I used to do this in college on Monday nights because Mondays I didn't have class and that's like when I worked and then I had like a crazy busy week. The rest of it and I would go to bed every Monday night because our Sundays were 16 hour days. Um, every Monday night at 8 p.m. so I'd be able to like survive. I would catch up on sleep, you know? Turning the fan on, turning the lights off, and I'm going to bed with my dessert. And there we go. I hope you guys enjoyed this video of my New Year reset prep, whatever this video is. I love you guys so much, and I'll see you in my next video. I have a lot to say. And not only do I have a lot to say, because I pretty much always have a lot to say, I have a lot to say that I actually think might be good. And hopefully, you'll like one thing, okay? We're doing a little bit of a what I've been learning 2023 recap, reflection, and kind of like into the new year. Merry Christmas, happy holidays, happy New Year's. It's um, the best week of the year, which is the week between Christmas and New Year's Eve. 